Ahoy mateys and welcome to function one, second mates frequently asked questions. My name is Saurabh Bhatt, third mate of a foreign wing ship and head of artist at Kolbu Teddy Studio, Chandigarh. And I happen to be your pirated advisor. In this video, we shall continue analyzing questions asked by Captain Sundaram. In IMO radar performance, why VBW vertical beam width is 15 degrees? Why is it not 10 degrees? If vertical beam width is more, then loss of energy is more. If vertical beam width is less, then targets will get missed. So we need a sweet spot. Then IMO's performance standard for rolling and pitching is plus minus 10 degrees. What do you mean when someone is tuning radar? For example, you go to the bridge, you see second mate doing something on the radar, you ask him what is what are you doing? He said that I am tuning. What exactly is he doing? Which function is he tweaking? He is simply adjusting PRF, pulse repetition frequency, according to the range. What is EWMB? Emergency Rec Marking Boy. Give all the details about EWMB. So Emergency Rec Marking Boy. Shape will be pillar or spar. Blue and yellow vertical stripes. How many vertical stripes? 4 to 8. Then at night time, blue and yellow flashes. The nominal range of the flash should be 4 miles. So how is the flash? Blue and yellow flashes. 1 second blue flash. Then half second interval then one second yellow flash that's how it is top mark the top mark is st george's cross ewmb is placed near a new wreck or new obstruction it was adopted since 11th of december 2006 so ewmb is placed near a new wreck or new obstruction a wreck which is whose information is not yet promulgated it is there that we place EWMB now this should be maintained until the wreck is well known and has been promulgated in nautical publications then wreck has been fully surveyed fully surveyed its exact position is known its exact depth is known and then a permanent form of marking has been placed. When all these three conditions are done, then you can remove this EWMB. Difference between raster and vector chart. Raster is a direct copy of paper chart. Vector chart is computer generated chart. You see? What is raster chart? Suppose you take a snapshot, take a click a snapshot of a chart and display it on the screen. That's your raster chart. Once again, raster is direct copy of paper chart. Vector is computer generated chart. Raster chart appears cluttered. Vector's chart has no cluttering. In raster charts, information can only be added. In vector charts, information can be added as well as subtracted. Raster charts, interrogation for more information is not possible. Whereas in vector chart, interrogation for more information is possible. In both cases, be it raster chart or vector chart, GPS, radar, ARPA information can be overlaid. Raster chart. 
the entire chart is a single layer vector chart it has multiple layer raster chart customization is not possible vector chart customization is possible vector chart can be designed as per requirement in raster chart scale of chart can't be changed vector chart you can change the scale in raster chart alarms are not possible for safety depth no alarm for safety counter no alarm for entering tss etc in vector chart all such alarms are possible in raster charts zooming is not possible if you zoom the image will only get blurred in vector chart zooming is possible raster charts are cheaper vector charts are expensive in raster chart only north up orientation only north up orientation is possible in vector chart both north up and head up orientation is possible what is the effect of gps of gyro compass and speed log on agdes effect of gps gyro compass speed log how do these three things affect agdes what happens if one of these bridge equipments fail what is its effect on agdes if gps fails agdes goes in dr mode dead reckoning mode you know what's dead reckoning the agdes calculates present position by using the previous position how does it do that in dead reckoning mode agdes gets course from gyro compass and speed from speed log and calculates ship's position based on the last position red cross indicates at this is on g dr mode if gps has failed and speed log has failed system indicates no position so if gps fails there will be red cross on agdes and it goes in dr mode but along with gps if either uh, either gyro fails or speed log fails then system indicates no position what are the publications for agdes s52 s57 s63 NP five zero one two, NP two three one, NP double two three two, NP one three three, Part C. What are these publications? S fifty two specific specification and color scheme for ENC electronic navigation chart. S fifty seven IHO standard. for raster chart s63 encryption of enc data np5012 admiralty guide to a enc symbol in agdes np231 admiralty guide to practical use of enc np232 admiralty guide to agdes implementation policy and procedure and finally np133 part c admiralty enc maintenance record so these are the publications for agdes why agdes became mandatory what were its advantages the prime factor was anti grounding tool the anti grounding tool in agdes was the prime factor for making it so important and finally agdes became mandatory then besides that it has it is eco friendly it has
continuous monitoring of vessel it is cost effective and various alarms can be incorporated in agdes how to update charts on agdes now there is auto update and there is semi auto update now automatic auto update system connects through the satellite and updates automatically then semi auto we have to update through cd so we use base series after update we put aio cd so base series and aio series what is the advantage of vector paper chart continuous monitoring of vessel is possible position fixing at desired intervals without indulgence of duty officer charts can be corrected automatically electronically ease of passage planning and alarms set for various parameters all required publications are incorporated passage plan can be monitored two position fixing systems are used discrepancy can be identified cross track limit alarm can be set accurate eta can be calculated considering effect of wind current and tide many features to reduce the workload of officer of watch what are tnp notices tnp temporary and preliminary notices what are temporary notices these are issued to warn temporary changes in aids to, to navigation the wa warnings of hazards of temporary nature so they warn us about hazards which are only temporary for example a naval exercise exploration drilling dredging what are preliminary notices these are issued to promulgate navigationally significant data early to mariner when action or wreck will shortly be taking place when information has been received but is too complex to be promulgated by chart update what are the entries in agdes logbook See entries logbook has five parts. Number one, instruction. Number one is instruction on use of Agdes. Number two, voyage planning using Agdes. Number three, Agdes records. Agdes records and chart. Number four, watch officer training and responsibilities. Number five is forms. Number five has multiple forms. Which all forms? Chart spot check log, manual correction log, chart update log, Agdes management form, handover routine checklist, Agdes failure emergency checklist, Agdes familiarization. That's all, folks, for today's session. If you have any more doubt, please let me know in comments section. If there is any other question that you need a simplified explanation or further detail about it, please let me know. La Marina Mercante is no el pan. Si te quieres eso en español, dime por favor. Muchas gracias por tu ayuda. Adiós. Bendiga. Sorbhat.